Unit Nine. Natural Disasters. Page twenty-six. Getting started. Activity one. Listen and read. Did you watch the news last night? No, I didn't. What's happened? There was a typhoon in Nam Dinh Province. What exactly is a typhoon? We don't get them in England. It's a severe tropical storm. Oh no, that's terrible. What time did it hit the area? They said at about ten a.m. Was anyone injured? Only a few minor injuries were reported. Most people had moved to safe areas when the storm broke. That's a relief. Did it cause any damage to property? It seems many houses and public buildings were destroyed or flooded, and thousands of people were left homeless. That's awful. Despite all the modern technology available to us, we're still helpless against natural disasters. How is the government helping the people there? They've sent rescue workers to free people who were trapped in flooded homes. Once the heavy rain stops, they'll start clearing up the debris. Medical supplies, food, and rescue equipment have also been sent. That's great. How about the people left without homes? They've been taken to a safe place where temporary accommodation will be provided for them. Unit nine. Page twenty-seven. Getting started. Activity two A. Write the responses into the correct columns. Then listen, check, and repeat. Responding to good news. Wow. That's great. That's a relief. How wonderful! That's awesome. Responding to bad news. Oh dear. That's awful. How terrible. Oh no. That's shocking. Unit nine, page twenty-seven. Getting started. Activity three. Match the natural disasters with the pictures. Then listen, check your answers, and repeat. Can you add more? One, C, flood. Two, D, forest fire. Three, F, tsunami. Four, B, tornado. Five, G. Mudslide. Six. A. Volcanic eruption. Seven. H. Drought. Eight. E. Earthquake. Unit nine. Page twenty-eight. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity four. Listen and repeat these words. Pay attention to the stressed syllables. Technology. Photography, ecology, biology, apology, 
biography, geography, psychology, Unit Nine, page twenty eight. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity five. Listen and mark the stress on the correct syllable in the words below. Pay attention to logy and graphy. One. Sociology. Two. Zoology. Three. Bibliography. Four. Climatology. Five. Astrology. Six. Demography. Unit Nine. Page twenty eight. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity six. Read the following sentences, and mark the stress syllable in the underlined words. Then listen and repeat the sentences. One, we are studying the geography of Asia. Two, I had a biology lesson this afternoon. Three. They share a common interest in photography. Four. A biography is a book that tells the story of someone's life, written by someone else. Five. Zoology is the scientific study of animals and their behavior. Unit nine, page twenty-eight. A closer look. One. Vocabulary. Activity one. Fill in each blank with a suitable verb, in the correct form from the box below. Then listen. Check. And repeat. One. Yesterday, a terrible storm struck the rural area of Haiyang Province. Two. Villagers rushed into public shelters as soon as the volcano erupted. Three. Hundreds of buildings were completely destroyed when the earthquake shook the city. Four. The mudslide buried the whole village while people were still sleeping in their houses. Five. The forest fire raged for eight hours, and some animals were badly injured or killed. Six. We managed to run out of the house into the street before the walls collapsed. Unit nine, page twenty-eight. A closer look. One. Vocabulary. Activity two. Match the verbs in column A to the nouns in column B. Then listen, check, and repeat. One, scattered debris. Two, take shelter. Three, 
Evacuate the village. 4. Provide aid. 5. Put out the forest fire. Unit 9. Page 31. Communication. Activity 1. Listen to a radio program on 14 News. Then, fill in the gaps with the words you hear. Welcome to Nature and You. Today, we have asked our listeners around the world to call us to express their views on these two questions. Are there more natural disasters now than there were in the past? And are we prepared to deal with natural disasters? Hi, I'm Sarah from Sydney, Australia. I think there are more natural disasters now than there used to be. Whenever I watch the news on TV, I see places that are flooded or affected by drought. I'm certain this is the result of climate change and global warming. Hello, I'm Peter from London, England. I don't think there are more natural disasters now than in the past, but more are being reported on the news in shorter time periods. We've seen them so often on the news that we've become used to them. Hi everyone, I'm Nobita from Tokyo, Japan. I think recent earthquakes and tsunamis just show how unprepared we are to deal with them. Despite all the technology and knowledge available to us nowadays, many people become victims of natural disasters. Good evening, everyone. I'm Lin from Hanoi, Vietnam. I don't think we can prepare for natural disasters, as nobody knows when or where they are going to strike. It's nature's way of reminding us who is in charge and that we should show more respect to the natural environment. Unit 9 Page 33 Skills 2 Listening Activity 1 Listen to the news report and correct the following statements. Nian province was badly affected again when a typhoon hit the area last night. The storm began at around 11 p.m. and raged throughout the night. Dozens of people were seriously injured and hundreds of others were left homeless. The severe winds caused extensive damage to property, including homes and businesses, particularly in Kuala, a coastal town in Nian. The storm had already weakened by the time emergency workers arrived in the area. Rescue operations have started, and many people trapped in collapsed or damaged buildings have been freed. Workers are now clearing up the debris left behind by the severe storm. The government has already sent rescue equipment to Nian, as well as food and medical supplies. People left homeless have been taken to safe areas where temporary accommodation will be built to house them. The Weather Bureau has issued flood warnings for Nian and nearby provinces as heavy rain is expected to continue over the next few days. Unit 9 Page 33 Skills 2 Listening Activity 2 Listen again and complete the data chart. Nye 
Henan province was badly affected again when a typhoon hit the area last night. The storm began at around 11 p.m. and raged throughout the night. Dozens of people were seriously injured, and hundreds of others were left homeless. The severe winds caused extensive damage to property, including homes and businesses, particularly in Kuala, a coastal town in Nian. The storm had already weakened by the time emergency workers arrived in the area. Rescue operations have started, and many people trapped in collapsed or damaged buildings have been freed. Workers are now clearing up the debris left behind by the severe storm. The government has already sent rescue equipment to Nian, as well as food and medical supplies. People left homeless have been taken to safe areas, where temporary accommodation will be built to house them. The Weather Bureau has issued flood warnings for Nian and nearby provinces as heavy rain is expected to continue over the next few days.